Hi viewers and welcome to German Jam Cutter. Just wanna let you know that I've shortened the time-lapse scenes and feed them with a lot of information. So please be sure to check them out and don't skip them. I really hope you enjoy this new style, which means shorter videos with more information. Okay, now let's go and see how I cut this beautiful emerald cut amethyst here out of a piece of rough like this. Enjoy the video, thanks for watching. Hi viewers. This week's video is about Amethyst. If you follow my channel, you see a few short clips from the same material here. It's a nice piece of Pleochroic African Amethyst. I planned to make two videos about the Emerald Cut. This piece here is for this week and this piece is for next week's video. We'll explain it. I want to cut this piece here in the EDL Emerald 133 watts from Steven Weintraub Jr. Don't pay any attention on these notes here, it was just for me. I'm looking for an emerald design, easy step cut and uh, found this optimized design for quartz from Steven Weintraub. and see the note stunning in rich amethyst. We have a wonderful rich color here in this piece. You see it's a little bit brighter here, a little bit darker here, and we have this wonderful pleochroism here in these pieces. You see a bluish purple, a reddish purple, and also here in this piece we have a little bit of a yellowish brown. I want to show you how to cut an emerald design because I see um, an article on the homepage of the International Gem Society of how to add sparkle to an emerald cut by Mr. Donald Clark. There is a guide how to add facets to an emerald cut to add more sparkle to it. In next week's video I will use this piece here with the instructions of Donald Clark of how to add sparkle to an emerald cut. So uh, we have a direct comparison between optimized emerald cut and an emerald cut with a few more facets for more sparkle. We use the same crown on this stone and for this stone's pavilion here we use the instructions from Mr. Donald Clark. So we became a direct comparison between standard optimized emerald cut and a modified emerald cut with maybe a little bit more sparkle. I'm curious about it. Now you know the plan and the next step is I will show you the dopping in time lapse and after that you will see a few scenes of cutting, pre-polishing, polishing in time lapse and when I finished the pavilion we take a close look at our stone before we cut the crown and finish the stone. Okay, now enjoy the time lapse and let's cut an emerald cut. Okay, now we're starting with some alcohol, clean the dog stick and clean the stone. After that I used a little bit of modeling clay to fix and align the stone or the rough on the flat big dog stick. Here you see me using the Ultratech standard transfer fixture, works well. And now we have to mix the two part epoxy, it's a 5 minute epoxy, well mixed. Double check if the stone is aligned and bring on the adhesive. Make sure you have adhesive between the dog stick and the stone, so you get a very good adhesion. Now we bring up a little bit more and let him dry. Okay, start cutting the stone on the 260 grit diamond disc and I start with the girdle outline to set the size of the stone. After cutting the girdle outline and all pavilion facets on the 260 grit diamond disc, I change to the 1200 grit diamond disc to cut out all these ugly scratches and bring up the facets near close to the final size. Now we're changing to this 3K diamond disc where we cut out tiny micro scratches and make some ultra fine settings. 
ready for pre-polishing. Preparing the bed lab with some oil and 8K diamond. And now I start pre-polishing the facets with fast movements and a low speed. Okay, ready for the polishing. Now you see me preparing the dark side lab with some water and cerium oxide. It is because I want to make a test. I polish one facet with cerium oxide and later I polish the same facet on the opposite side with some zirconium oxide. So I had a direct comparison between both oxides. The polish with zirconium oxide was my favorite, so I'm using the zirconium oxide, what you see here on the dark side lab, for the complete pavilion or the complete stone. I'm polishing on low speeds and I'm using about one drop every five seconds. So our oxide will not blown or washing away from the lab. Okay, now here you see I finished polishing and first thing what we see is look at these colors. They're fantastic. And what you see is we have some inclusions here. Oh man, look at these colors. They are so amazing. Wow, this material is really cool. I decide to uh, polish the complete stone with zirconium oxide and you see we have a really fantastic result. Sure it is in good light here and the light comes from this direction which means we have a little bit of transmitted light which uh, show us a really really intense color in the stone but I'm very excited to see how the stone comes out when it is finished. Next steps are the transferring. I will transfer the stone on a V-dop. The emerald dops are not keyed dops, which means um, after transferring I will align the stone on the bed lab. This is one of the flattest labs I have. Okay, yes, you know now I have to cut a few crown facets, pre-polish them, polish them same way 8k diamond on the bed lab and zirconium oxide on the dark side if you have any questions please feel free and let me know in the comment down below okay now let's go on with this super cool gemstone here okay now the doping transfer we start again with some alcohol clean the dope stick and the stone and align both in the transfer fixture now we need our adhesive Make the mix 50-50 of this 5 minute 2 part epoxy and bring it between the stone and the dop stick and finally on the dop and on the stone. Let him dry. After a few minutes the adhesive is hard and we let him dry for about 12 hours. Okay now here you see I'm using heat to destroy the adhesive on one side and the other side I protect with a wet paper tissue. Everything works fine, so we can start cutting the crown on the 260 grit diamond After disc. After a very good cutting on the 260 grit diamond disc, I decide to cut direct on the 3K diamond disc and make sure that everything is clean, which means your hands, your disc and also your stone and the roll equipment you use. Everything works fine, so we can start again with the 8K diamond on the bed lab. I prepared with a little bit of oil and 8K. Make sure you pre-polish out every little micro scratch and you hit the meat points. With the 8K diamond you have a very good control over the meat points. You can cut in the meat points very smooth and will hit them very well. So your stone is ready for polishing. Now we don't have to clean the bed lab and the dark side lab because later we need it for pre-polishing and polishing our table facet. Here you see me again preparing the dark side lab with some water and zirconium oxide to polish all crown facets. Now I'm installing the 90 degree tabling adapter with the help of the table aligner to cut the tape. Here it is, the finished result. We have a wonderful amethyst with amazing color effects. It is not very good visible here in this light. I'm 
I'm going outside make some photos for you in daylight and in sunlight. We have an really, really amazing amethyst. It is the first video where you get all important information during the time lapse. I hope you enjoy this, it makes the videos a little bit shorter and it is easier to understand the complete way of cutting, pre-polishing and polishing. You see we have these wonderful fingerprint inclusions inside the gem. A little bit a mirroring of these inclusions here. We have also a fingerprint inclusion and I think all these inclusions give the stone a little bit more life, makes him a little bit more attractive, unique. The best property of this material here is definitely the color and the pleochroic effect mixed the colors. It is not the optimal cut for such material. The emerald cut is not a very sparkle design. For the next emerald cut amethyst I will use the instructions from the article and we check if we can add some sparkle in an emerald cut. Yeah, and I hope you have fun in gem cutting with me together. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's always a great help. Turn on future notifications if you don't want to miss a video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice week. Bye bye.